Here's how you can make your very own digital planner on the iPad. For this video, I am going to use the app called Keynotes. So to start off, open Keynotes and click on choose a theme. Over there, select the basic presentation. You can choose and change the size of the presentation as you want. After it has opened up, delete the default text on the first slide. Next, insert a rounded rectangle from the shapes section and resize it. You can use the green dot to adjust the roundness, resize the rectangle to at least half of the page. The resize it a little less than the half of the page to keep some gaps in between. Next, duplicate a copy of that same rectangle and place it in the other side of the page to create the outer book cover. So, over here, I am just going to resize the rectangles to their right shape so that it looks like a book cover. Um, now select both the rectangles and change their color. You can choose any color you want, add any type of gradient, or even make it a textured cover. Over here I am choosing a rather aesthetic looking color for the digital planner. So as I said, you can play around with different colors, gradients, and apply any type of texture to your cover just by importing your own preferred photo. Now let's add shadow to the book cover and the pages. So to do so, just select the two rectangles and go over to the paintbrush and enable shadow now. You can choose your preferred one. Next, let's create the pages. To do so, add a rectangle and resize it according to your book cover. Now change its fill color to white. Then add a drop shadow to the white rectangle. As you can see, the shadow shows a stack of pages. Copy and paste two to three copies of the white rectangle to show a stack of pages. Go into the settings and close all the three guides to align the shapes properly. Closing the guides will allow you to move any shape freely without having to snap to any guides. And after you are done by stacking the pages on one side, you can copy one rectangle and paste it on the other side of the book cover, which is empty. Now import a photo of a ring from your photos and place it right in between the covers. Tip. So just resize it according to what you think is right. And then let's start by making the tab. So to do so, add a rounded rectangle and lower its size, then add a drop shadow to it and a fill color. It is perfectly your choice which color you want to choose. Over here, I am using a dark purple type color to actually make the tab pop out. Um. Uh, 
Now let's just resize it so that it fits on the other side of the page. Now go to the Arrange panel and move the shape to the back so that it is behind the page but in front of the cover. Now we are going to resize it to the correct size and duplicate more copies of it. Add a rounded rectangle and it should have a no fill. It should have a border and it should be full of dashes so that it looks like stitches. After that, give the border a color of white and just resize the border around the book cover. We are going to send the stitches to the back so that it is behind the rings. To create the book over, add a new blank slide and delete all its contents. Then copy the purple book cover from the other slide and paste it on the blank slide. After that, import the rings and place it right in the place as before, and then add a rectangle and format it as you like. Now over here, I am just changing the colors of the tabs into a more aesthetic and pastel looking way.